Hello, I'm Ann Swork, and I was going to share with you a bit about homeschooling with toddlers. Um, I've had seven children that I've homeschooled all the way through, and so there were a few years that I had toddlers while we were trying to do school. And um, different years, we did different things. Uh, one of the things that I would do is when a couple of my older ones were old enough, I would stagger my schooling. So I would do reading with one child, number one child, and number two child would be playing with the toddler. And then number one child would go and they would swap places and I would do school. So our time at school sometimes took a little bit longer because of that, but everybody was a little happier and less stressed. Um, and when I had um, there were times, you know, when my littlest ones were little, then there were, you know, five siblings to kind of rotate through and help with. And, and so, you know, there might be several of them doing reading and one was playing with the toddler and then they would swap and it would give them a break from their schoolwork at the same time. Um, so, you know, that was one thing that we did. Um, I also had a special box or games um, Play-Doh, whatever it might have been, that those were my ideas that when the toddler was wanting to be at the school, at the table doing school with the rest of us, um, or there wasn't somebody that could maybe go play with them right at that moment, I could put them in a high chair, I could, um, you know, and give them something special to play with or set them at the table or right on the floor beside us and they would have that special item and that was the only time that they got to play with it was during school time um so those were you know a couple things you know we would do things like school why the kids why they were taking a nap um I, and one year i helped I, I taught science to the high school kids as kind of like a co-op thing. And the agreement was that I would teach the co-op to, you know, these four high school kids. And one of the moms each week came to play with my toddlers while I was teaching the science class. So that was another swap, you know, that we made that, that worked well, you know, for us. And there were times that babies on the hip and that's just the way it goes. Um, there were years that we homeschooled through the summertime and um, that would free up days so if the toddler was having a crabby day or maybe we did a half a day on Monday and a half a day on Tuesday because the toddler needed mom or we just couldn't get through it then it allowed going through the summertime allowed that extra time to to get our days in and to do what we needed to do. Um, there were years that we also, my husband has always worked kind of a different shift and had different days off from what a typical schedule would be. Um, the probably last 10 years, he's had um, Sunday and Mondays off. So there were times that we did school on Saturday. Dad was at work anyway. And so we would get a little bit extra in on Saturday. That also helped extend our time so that we weren't stressed with it. So those are just a few tips that I had about homeschooling with the little ones around. Thank you, Anne. That's, I think, one of the most common questions that we get is, what do I do with my baby and my toddler while I'm homeschooling my kindergartner and my second grader? And um, I think if you ask any mom, she'll have a pretty similar um, answer and it's just, you figure it out. It's just hard to do. Um, I will say, I only had two children. And so when I started my daughter in kindergarten, um, my um, little boy was a toddler and he was all eyes and ears. And I, there is one perk to having those younger children is that they're listening and watching. And there were some subjects that um, he was much easier to teach. He just caught on much easier. And I think it's because he had been exposed to it by listening to me and his sister uh, talking through some things or learning things and everything. So that's a fun perk um, for the toddlers. And they, you know what, they, they keep you young and they keep your homeschool 
lively and it's really it's fun to have them around they're such a blessing and so i hope that all of ann's really great tips here helped you um, tonight know that you're not alone in the, um, the struggle to keep everybody busy and, and entertained but it's doable and um, we are here as regional reps um, to share tips with you and to serve you and help you in any way you can so you can find us on the homeschool iowa website and um, contact us there and we'll, we will see if we can help you further thanks for joining us good night <laughs>